Okay, so uh, we're here with David Clinton, a eyewitness to a white, to a white Bigfoot in the Quabbin Reservoir. Dave, please describe to us what exactly you saw and when. Uh, on March 16th, I went for a hike here in the Quabbin. Um, I saw a white object moving through some heavy brush. It was on a downslope from me from about 50 yards away. Um, after watching the object for about 10 to 15 seconds, I realized that it was more like the size of a person. Uh, and actually, I thought to myself that it was a person walking through the woods. Uh, I don't believe it was a bird. I don't think it was the tail of a deer. Uh, I'm convinced that it's a good possibility that what I saw was actually a Bigfoot. So you're thinking you might have saw one of the white Bigfoots? Uh, it was a white object, but as I said, it was large. Uh, it was moving through some heavy brush, and I, I really believe that it was the size of a person, if not larger. Hi, my name is Rich Diablo. I'm a cryptozoologist in training, and you've just witnessed an interview on camera by me of David Clinton, eyewitness to a Bigfoot. We're about to go up the trail further to actually see the site where David saw the Bigfoot and do some scientific investigation and also see if we can maybe coax the Bigfoot to come back out. We'll explain more about that later. But on a related note, I wanted to show you all first the reason why I believe David Clinton may have saw something. Because this trail that we're on here now in the Quabbin is not a stranger to me. In my studies in the past, I have had experience with weird things in this on this trail and crypto related items for instance here is the first picture i have of a of an unknown bird footprint you've all heard of birdzilla right well this is a very large picture of a bird footprint i have had in the past people say there might be birdzillas in the quabbin i came out when i'm looking for birdzilla and this is a picture of a footprint i found you can see through the crate measure here it's a rather large bird. Six and a half inches long footprint by, from the looks of it, we've got, can't see the tape measure here, and we've got approximately um, about six and a half inches walk this way also. So you got basically about six inches by six inches type of footprint here. That's an incredibly large bird. I never, I did not see the bird that belonged to this footprint, but I can tell you this is, after having a scientist, scientist look at this picture, I sent it to a lab, and they, they definitely claim it's, it's not a normal sized bird footprint. So on that note, I went out again on a different day looking for more evidence. And you can't really see much in camera on these here. But these are some very large footprints of a bipedal creature. You can see, here's the heel. There may be some, to it's hard to see. They were very, very far away. I'm not sure the camera can get these, but I'll trace it out. This is the heel. These are the toes here. Um, I was, and there's another picture here. There's the heel, toes. He has a strange little cleft or something in his foot here. I'm not sure what that is. And here's a deer track next to it. You can see the size comparison. This is a very big footprint next to a deer track. Here it is again, the footprint and the deer. To give now, to give some reference to how big these feet, these footprints are, that these are clearly not a human footprint. I went out on my, I put my snowshoe. You can see it's a 25 inch snowshoe. That's over two feet. Here again is the picture of the, the air footprint. Here is the footprint that I saw, the track I saw. It comes very close to the size of this snowshoe. That's a good two foot footprint. Evidence clearly states there's a reason to investigate the Quabbin Reservoir that this creature that made these footprints may very well be the white Bigfoot David Clinton saw. This is the spot where I witnessed the white object moving through the brush. Uh, I'm using as a point of reference a birch tree with a fork in it. Uh, it's in the deep heavy brush right straight across here. And I'm uh, struck with some vivid memories right now of that uh, moment. Uh, things are it's definitely higher than that.
Alright, this ain't working. Uh, Alright, maybe if I do this. a 12 foot tape measure. Well, this is the ground, so I... Okay, there. We got 105 inches. Uh, I would estimate the size of the tree. Alright, here is like... You can see there's like an impression of something big. There's like, could be like, that could be a heel, right? That could be a heel print, because there, couldn't it? Sure. This could I mean, be... This here could be the part of this foot there. This could be a... T a maybe where... This leaves in the way, but... It comes right to here. Here's a two foot mark here. It's tough. It's old. But something big stood you know, there. That does look like a plank like foot. And you know, the thing is, even though there are leaves there, it does hide some of it. We don't want to mess with the leaves because that could get rid of some evidence. Right. So we, we want to leave the leaves there. Right. I so. think the, if we move, if we move the tape measure, one more, let's move the tape measure. We'll take a quick picture of it, a still picture of it. The, and just to give you an idea print. how big it is, I mean, without stepping on the leaves, because I would contaminate evidence, but right. it's double the size of my foot. Right, because it goes for the end of the shadow, so. Right. Okay, uh, we're going to do a few experiments here. I'm going to try, I've, I brought a few things along to see if I can get, try and either lure the Bigfoot out or at least get scientific evidence that the Bigfoot exists. The first thing I'm going to do here, and what you do at every site, it's a relatively new, relatively new science. I have learned it. On uh, several expeditions already. Take a, few, a little bit of this string here. I'm gonna cut it off. This will probably be long enough here, right about here. All right. Now, let's see. I need a good tree for this. Away from my point here. Uh, let's see. I'll take it. Need a tree. Far away. All right. We're gonna go over. We're gonna go over here, this tree here. We're gonna tie this right like this. Okay. Tie this right here. Tie this right here. Get a little sample of this water over here, the brook. You don't need much. Just a little bit of water here, not much. Okay. I'm gonna take this back to the lab and have our scientists, our scientific staff, just study the water. I don't know. I don't expect to find much of anything, but you know, you might find something, you might not. I don't know, what do you think? That doesn't look like no animal, you know, feces I ever saw. Uh, it looks to me like there's hair in it. And it's, it's, the hair in it shows possibly the, uh, you know, the, 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 the diet. A, you know. The diet, it, it's, yeah. it's a kind of it's, it's, I think we've got some definite physical evidence we can take with us to the lab. All right, so we're gonna head back home now.